And I think we just have... Huh. Why are all our companions vanishing? Is it just me? Is it a bug? Or is it part of the quest line? Because I mean, we had Ulbrick over there, we had Sida down here. And I think the game is a little bit buggy, I'm not really sure why the music is like dropping in sound and increasing again sometimes. Oh well. But yeah, we just have Wolgif, Aru, and Ivu around. I'm not really sure why. Okay. So, I think we just have to talk to Aru and then we're done. At least regarding our companions. So, English one, also fan of the game? What path did you play? Yeah, we just have to talk with Aru and then we can deal with the suspicious mages. Which I guess will be way harder considering our party size is like growing smaller and smaller. Here we go. Beautiful. I mean, also, we just finished up, like, inspecting the city with Reginald, right? Where are they? <laughs> the sad part about this game sometimes is, like, you do wonder, is it a bug? Are all your companions supposed to vanish? Or, yeah, is it a bug? <laughs> Played Azata, Lich, doing Demon and Ian right now. Nice. Quite a lot of times. Which is your favorite so far? I just played the game once, and as you can see, with an Azata. Which I really enjoyed. I really like Ivo as a companion. And yeah, just doing the, the whole song and nature theme. What a beautiful fun? celebration. So many people. Rishale smiles happily as she looks around. Hmm. Definitely quite the stern contrast to Regil. A little bit more lighthearted, right? Ever so slightly. Yes, it's a wonderful festival. Just think, all these people are here to celebrate your achievements. I also wonder what Aru thinks about like all the people dressing up as her, right? It is amazing how all these people have come together to celebrate you, the Knight Commander of the Fifth Crusade. The citizens of Canabras have decorated the city and organized the festivities. They've even dressed up like us! By the way, I think the screen is cut. You can barely see the dialogue box. Hmm. Oh yeah, I think you're right, unfortunately. Uh, thanks for noticing. <laughs> uh, nope, that's not intended. Weird. Because I didn't change anything with the settings. Let's give me just a second and play around. <laughs> we And here we go. Odd. That didn't happen before. Hmm. So yeah, thanks so much for noticing. Uh, great. <laughs> yeah, professional as always. Alright. Now looking better? Yeah, I guess so. Hmm. Uh, Lich is incredible. Nice. I heard a lot of great things about the Lich Path. I'm not sure if I could do it, because I really enjoy like playing like good characters, and I think I would be very sad like playing evil. <laughs> but it sounded really nice with the themes and also, um, I mean the Lich char character, what was his name? Oh gosh, it's been such a long time ago. Carius or something like that? Also seemed like quite the intriguing character in general. I don't know if that's intended or not. No. The screen size was not intended. <laughs> and hey Luna, how are you? How's it going? You know, I'd really like to join them. I want to walk among the crowds as if I were an ordinary person and not the commander's demon companion. But I mean, actually... Isn't that the perfect opportunity? So many people are dressed up as you, so... She can just pose as like another costume wearing peasant, right? Hey, we can literally say that. There are so many people here dressed as you. No one will know that you're actually a Rishale. Everyone will think you're just wearing a costume. You're probably right. But to be honest, 
I'm still afraid that someone will recognize me. If the townsfolk realize that a real demon has infiltrated their festival, oh. something terrible could happen. But I mean, they're people literally dressing up as her, right? So they shouldn't be afraid seeing her as a true demon, right? <laughs> oh well. As I literally lost four companions for my choices. Oof. Which ones, <laughs> if you want to spoil? I'm good, how are you eating? I'm also good. A little bit exhausted from all the job searching and also did a job interview this week. Um, but yeah, I'm very happy it's the weekend and I don't have to worry about that stuff and can just play. <laughs> Level up. <laughs> Demon. <laughs> Correct. And a quite cute one, right? Hey, Kimmer Kimmery? I hope that's somewhat correct. How are you? Do you think I should risk talking to them? Absolutely. What could go wrong? Especially in a game like Wrath of the Righteous. Nothing bad ever happens, right? Yes, I think you should. If you're sure, I guess I can try. But I'll need your help. Look at how much fun the townsfolk are having. They're all dressed up in marvelous costumes, talking and laughing together. They seem so happy. Their smiles get wider, and their laughter grows louder with each person they meet. I want to talk to them, but I don't know how. What if I say something silly and everyone leaves? Will you stay and help me? No more anxiety. I feel so much better with you by my side. But of course we can help. Mm, Socio, his brother, Sida, and Daren. But our Romans take a guess why he died. Oof. That sounds like a road of misery. <laughs> but glad that you're still enjoying playing Lich. I like the spider girl from the prologue. <laughs> uh, what was she called? Windigo? Wendigo? Something like that. Like the evil pendant of Lan, right? <laughs> Did you also finish the game or just playing it for your first time? Sure. How can I help? Could you help me find a conversation to join? And then just be there for me it's really hard for me to talk to others how to socialize to say sure i'll spend some time in the crowds and call you over if i ever hear any interesting conversations thank you i'll keep watch from here though i expected aru to be more comfortable like with people so, I mean, we're rather at the end of the game, right? I mean, she's tr she's been traveling with us for like, I don't know, months, I guess. Oh well, but we can do this. Operation, small talk for Aru, or something. Yeah, I'm still a newbie. Ah, okay. When did you start, or how far into the game are you? Is the better question, I guess. Come on, I'm telling you that button is completely crooked. Hey, how's it going? That's some fancy hair color. A young man dressed up as you nods in greeting. Oh, look at those costumes. They are magnificent. The attention to detail is perfect. They look so real. Yeah, I wonder why. I mean, I have literal spectral butterflies around me. Quite some detail, right? Because, I mean, no one else has that. We're just big fans, right? You are insufferable. A woman in an ember costume rolls her eyes. I wonder what they're arguing about. Costumes, I guess. With Beta and Alexis, but I've not been able to complete the game. Oh, okay. Why not? Like, not motivated for it, or a time issue? Why don't you ask them? Really? Alright, I will. Come on, Aru, Sorry you can do this. Sorry interrupt. But what are you two arguing about? The importance of taking these costumes seriously. We're dressed up as important people. They're out there saving the world while well, my friend here can't sew a button on straight. But I mean... Wouldn't 
an odd button actually fit Amber? My costume is meant to look ragged and tattered, including the buttons. Right. The button looks fine to me. I don't see anything wrong with it. What do you think? Rishley tilts her head in interest as she studies the button. <laughs> Chill out, it's just a button. <laughs> You do notice you do not notice anything unusual about the button. Oh, okay. Wow. You've made a pig's ear of that. Your sewing skills are atrocious. <laughs> it's just a button. It looks like a normal button to me. Thank you. Happy now? There's nothing wrong with my button. It's your eyes that need to be checked. Really? Rishley glances at the man's eyes in concern. She's just too pure for this world. You really should take my advice on this. The man shakes his head. What's this problem with a single button? Uh, fine. <clears throat> Who needs buttons on a costume like this anyway? The woman rips off the button. Also, your collar. Gosh, what a nagging idiot. <sighs> you little. <laughs> Also, saying you little to a gnome as an insult also has a certain irony to it. Uh, I think dancing here is just like normal activity, but let's do that. Alright, where are more conversations? Ah, three people dressed up as a rope. People in Rushley costumes move toward you through the crowd. One of them, a young woman, waves at Rushley. And she's not alone. <laughs> Greetings, Commander. Uh -huh. So it's basically her personal fan club, right? Another young woman dressed as a Rushley gives you a curtsy. A tall tiefling smiles and nods. Um, hi. Why are they dressed like that? Because they're your fans. Which, unfortunately, we can't say. Why did you choose those costumes? Rushale buries her face in her hands. Isn't it obvious? Out of all the commander's companions, we like Arushale the most. Yes! Aww. They say she is very pretty. But she is a demon. A succubus. You are such lovely people, you shouldn't dress up like demons. They are monsters who will tear you to pieces and corrupt your souls. Oof, still being hard on ourselves. Oh, and thanks so much for following, Kimari. I'm unfortunately bad with seeing that sometimes, so, um, yeah, it took me a minute or two. But, yeah, thanks so much and welcome. Why are you saying such things? You're dressed up as a Rochelle too. Which is a very good point. The other Rochelles look at another in confusion. Well, yes, but I... <sighs> Sorry. Oh. Yeah, I was kind of hoping that, expect, especially after the whole happening in um, Lushnira, that Aru would be a little bit more confident in being more human. I wonder... But I think this is after completing her personal quest, right? So she is already, like, human, or more human, I guess. Still, why choose Arushle? The commander has other companions. Because I think the only way we can convince Aru that it's okay to be who she is is by having them tell her that. You're joking, right? Arushle isn't like other demons. She stood against them. Arushle is the best. Right. Arushle smiles and blushes. I agree. There are so many stories and rumors about her. I've even heard that she's no longer a demon. I don't know if the rumor's true, but I hope it is. As a tiefling, I find her story so inspiring. Which is a good point. If she's no longer a demon, is she also like a tiefling? I saw Arushale in Dresden once. I only caught a glimpse of her, but 
She is by far the prettiest companion. That's why I wanted to dress up as her. I see. I think I understand now. And why did you choose an Arushale costume? I'm not sure if she would actually reveal her identity. Me? But I think it would help. Arushale turns to you for support. Maybe you should tell them the truth. Tell them? Oh. All right. I will. Arushale looks terrified for a moment then regains her composure. This isn't a costume. I am a Rushale, but I don't want anyone to know. Can I trust you to keep my secret? Oh. Really? The young woman whispers in amazement. I knew it. I knew you looked exactly like her. Hey, look who's... <laughs> Good one job. Hey, can you keep the secret? Oh, I knew it. Hey, look here. Uh, don't worry. We won't tell anyone. Uh-huh. <laughs> The tiefling in Arushale's costume puts a hand over his friend's mouth and nods. Yeah, let's see how long it takes for everyone to know. Arushale's tiefling representation. <laughs> Kinda, I guess. Do you only allow people into your group if they are dressed like Arushale? Oh no, not at all! We've just been getting along famously. That's right! We met at the gates and decided to stick together at the festival. We would love for others to join our little group, but for now, it's just us. Although, it is fun to walk around as a group of Arushales. We look pretty amazing, right? I mean, kind of every costume of wings is pretty neat, right? We will go now. Enjoy the festival. You can always come back if you get bored. Yeah. I hope that helped boost her confidence a little bit. Hey, hello! I saw you watching us. Do you want to be friends? Wait, what? Who? Do you see anyone? Hmm. What a cute little girl. I think she was watching us for quite a while. Oh, I think it was the girl here running away. Yeah. I mean, with everything going on in this party, is this part of the conspiracy? Nah, let's not worry, Ru. Of course, we're at the center of attention today. You know, I've spent the last few years hiding in the shadows. It feels strange to have so many eyes on me now. Hmm. I wonder what that little girl wanted. I hope we see her again. I am quite sure we're going to see her again. I mean, we don't have a mark on the map or anything like that. Ivu got so huge. <laughs> uh, speak to the townsfolk. Near Sister Karasme. I wonder if that's connected. Look at those costumes. Apparently not. A group of people wearing a variety of colorful costumes gaze at you both in astonishment. Oh, sorry. Do we interrupt? Incredible. Those wings, they look so real. I wonder why. I never saw armor shine so bright. Interrupt? You certainly did. Your costumes have left us speechless. I don't even remember what we were talking about before you arrived. <laughs> Wait, what? How did we interrupt them if you didn't even remember what they were talking about before we arrived? An old man laughs good-naturedly at Rushley's question. Oh, I'm so sorry. We'll leave. <laughs> don't mind that old fool. He's only joking. Your costumes are eye-catching, though. And that's the honest truth. And they're all not wearing costumes, actually. One of the very few people around here. Catching eyes. Oh, <laughs> I get it now. Your costumes are also lovely. Isn't that right? I mean, she never said our name, right? Doesn't that kind of reveal our identity to everyone? Eh. <laughs> Rushley looks down at what she's wearing. Rushley's being kind, 
but the outfit they are wearing can hardly be called costumes. Their attire is bright and cheerful, but it is unclear who, if anyone, they are dressed up as. Your outfits are nice, but who are you supposed to be? Why, we're dressed as ourselves, of course. We're wearing whatever what we can you? find in the cupboard. That's right. It's not every day you can open your closet and wear whatever clothes you like. Today is a special occasion. Oh, please. You're just saying that because you don't have a costume. Personally, I'd love to be wearing a proper outfit instead of these old things. I mean, we have so much money. Can we just, I don't know, gift a costume or two? Ask someone in the party if they had like an old set of clothes or something. So, who would you dress up as if you could afford a costume? Did you know that one of the commander's companions is a cleric of Shellen? I'd like to dress up as him. You he don't say. He is a noble man. Me too! I'm sure my costume wouldn't look as good as yours, but I'd love to dress up as such an important person. Ah, uh, young folks. I'm content with my outfit. I like who I am. I don't need to dress up as someone else. Mm. Exactly! Besides, I look good in these old clothes. You don't even look that old. Oh. Maybe he's just spending time every day to dye his beard brown or something. It's really annoying. I don't know if any one of you ever dyed their beards. Um, or if you're wearing beards. But you really have to do that quite often. At least for me. Like, at least once a week. Because otherwise it's like either completely grown out or it looks like you just like dyed the tips. So yeah, actually he spends quite some time for looking like that. First question sounds kind of arrogant, like why aren't you dressed up as one of the Kumara's companions? But let's go with the last one. I think we should go now. Have a good day. Your costumes look amazing. There are the best ones here. Aww. Exactly! Don't know why this one over here keeps sulking and sighing about her outfit. I think we look fantastic! But if you're just dressing up as like how you like, is it a costume? Eh. Today I get to be normal like everyone else. I like that Sister Grasmus is just, just in the middle. It's not just about how the townsfolk see me, it's also about how I see myself. I don't want to hurt any of these people, not even a little bit. I am no longer a demon. I am not a monster. I'm mortal. You're so beautiful. There's no way you're a monster. A little girl steps out timidly from behind Rushley. Oh, I didn't see you there. What's your name? I really hope she's not scheming something and it's just like... A nice character for Ru to get like a little bit more confidence. Felisa. Mm. So, why were you following us? I wanted to meet you. Aww. Nice to meet you, Felisa. My name is Arushale. We're friends now, right? Oh. Let's really hope this is not going to be like a trap or something. Rushale looks startled. She shrugs uncertainly, then gives an awkward nod. Valisa, if you really wanted to meet her, why didn't you come speak to us sooner? It's very, very scary to approach someone you don't know. It's a lot easier to watch them from a distance. But if you always let fear hold you back, you will never make any friends. Ah. It's a little bit of Ember energy, right? Also just very wholesome. <laughs> Not caring about anything bad happening. There have been many times when I watched mortals from afar, but was too afraid to approach them. I clearly lacked your wisdom and courage, Felissa. I can share them with you. Oh. So, what would you like to do next, Rue? I'd like to go for a walk and meet someone else. Thanks to our little friend, I see myself more clearly. And thanks to you, I know I can talk to mortals without fear. 
Can I go for a walk with you? Of course. It's always more fun to do things with friends, isn't it? Please don't vanish as well, Rue. I don't know what's going to be next, but we need companions for that. See you later, Rue. Until later. Don't vanish. Don't vanish. Ah, okay. She's still here. But yeah. What's up with our companions? Why is everyone lost? Except our more demonic friends. And Ivu, which I guess is very hard to abduct. I mean, how do you abduct a giant fairy dragon? But yeah, I think next thing we do, or only thing we can do in this DLC, is to go to the meeting point. I was just like, where do we need to go again? But we finally have a quest marker. Rather rare in this game, actually. Do a small quick save. The Conjurer's Sanctuary is close. I'll take you there. Can we talk to you? Nope. Okay, let's go. And I guess let's take the loot. Look at how much money we have. We have like one and a half million gold coins. I think we can afford like everything. Oh, apparently we do have Nenio and Regal. So, let's take them, I guess. Not really sure where they are, because we couldn't see them on the map, but hey, I guess. It's